You are watching Adjuster TV. Hey IA and welcome to the IA Path Auto IA Show where we walk you through how to be a successful independent adjuster by starting, diversifying, and increasing your earnings using auto claims. If you're ready, we can get started right now. Today on the show, we're going to walk you through the importance of repair operations. It sounds about as interesting as paint drying, but trust me, this is one of the key components to being a successful adjuster, is to understand the auto damage repair operations that we have to write estimates with. For all the best tips, tricks, and tools for being an auto IA, head over to YouTube and hit the subscribe button on Adjuster TV so you can be informed every time we have a new video. All right, a lot of IAs believe that the most important thing you have to do is identify damage. And that would be pretty accurate, but I wouldn't call it the most important thing. Another key ingredient that a lot of times we overlook is understanding the repair operations. Repair operations are the building blocks of our estimates. You can identify damage and know that, hey, this hood is damaged. Well, what is the right repair operation needed for that part? Are there other additional repair operations needed because of the repair operation you just selected for that hood? And it goes on and on and on, all the way to building out a successful estimate. So we're gonna jump into each of the major repair operations and briefly explain what they are and how they work. All right, the first of the major repair operations when writing auto damage estimates is replace. It's abbreviated REPL, and it is the simplest and easiest of all the operations to understand. You're literally taking away a damaged panel that is beyond repair, throwing it away, and ordering a new one to be put back on it. Now, it gets more complicated than that, but the core concept is replacing. You're taking a damaged, useless part off and putting a new one, a replacement part, back on. Okay, this second major repair operation that I want to explain to you is R and I, or remove and install. Now it's kind of similar to the replace repair operation, where is replace, we're getting rid of a panel, throwing it away and getting a new one. R and I is removing a panel and then putting it back on after all the repairs have been completed to the vehicle. So that panel wasn't damaged, it doesn't need replaced, it just remove, needs removed for some reason so we can do the proper repairs or the shop can do the proper repairs to the vehicle. All right, I wanna make sure that you totally get the difference between replace, which is abbreviated REPL or R&R, &R, and and R i which is remove and install. So I've got a flashlight here to explain this principle. Now, this flashlight does not work. Why? Because the batteries are gone in it. They're garbage, okay? Now, if I was writing an estimate in an auto database, I would be like, okay, I've got to replace the batteries. Cool, we get that. We got to throw those batteries away and put new ones in there. But I can't just replace those batteries. Why? I got an access cover here that I got to unscrew or remove to then put new batteries in and install the cover back on it. So we've removed the batteries, we replaced the batteries, we removed the access cover, and we then installed the access cover. And that's the difference between R&R and R and R and I. All right, one of the other repair operations that you really gotta understand and know how to use is repair as an operation. That is a critical component when a part doesn't have to be replaced. It's not damaged enough to have to throw it away. You can then repair it for a certain number of hours to bring it back to pre-loss condition. Now we won't go too much into that here, but understand that this is a very negotiable and, and something that takes experience. It isn't a cut and dry, we know it's this many hours. It is something that takes expertise and is subject to negotiation between the different parties involved. All right, another core component of your auto damage estimates that you're gonna to learn to write is 
refinish. Refinish can be swapped out for painting. When a vehicle needs painted, they say it needs refinished. When a hood needs painted, it needs refinished. So that's the technical term for painting a vehicle or painting a panel. So the little cousin to the refinish operation is the blend operation. Just imagine that there is some damage to a wall in your home and your wife asks you to paint it. Says, ah, oh, can you repaint this wall? You go ahead and you repaint the damaged panel or in this case, the damaged wall. Well, when the wife comes home, what's she say? Look at the other three walls, they look terrible now. The same thing happens to a car if you just paint a single panel. And then if you start painting on the next wall, just a little bit, just to kind of cover the difference, all of a sudden you start chasing the paint all around the room. So what blend operation does is it helps bring some color and the clear coat over to adjacent panels from the one that was damaged, from the one that got refinished to the adjacent and accompanying panels it tries to hide the fact and blend in the new paint with the old paint so it's not so obvious that something's been repainted. All right, the final main repair operation, there are a few other sub ones that we don't use a whole lot, but the main repair operation that you need to learn is sublet repair. Now this is when a body shop or a repair facility subs out or subcontracts out different types of work to other types of businesses. Examples of sublet repair are window tent, uh, paintless dent repair, engine, transmission work, even some types of uh, suspension alignments, things of that nature can be subletted out to other companies who specialize in that type of repair. The key here is a sublet repair is a key building block to an estimate and you need to understand when to use it along with the other repair operations to build a quality estimate. If you don't understand the basic ingredients of an estimate, these repair operations, then it's gonna be hard for you to create any type of estimate. It's just like having a recipe. If you don't understand how to use salt, sugar, flour, and a few other key ingredients, most recipes are gonna be hard to you, no matter how smart you think you are. So you need to understand these key ingredients, these repair operations, and it's gonna be a whole, you're gonna be a whole lot better off when you get started writing estimates because you're gonna have the foundations mastered. If you need help learning repair operations or learning how to write auto damage estimates, you can always head over to iPath.com and check out our auto path where I'll mentor you and how you can learn to write auto damage estimates professionally the first time. So when you show up for an IA firm and you submit your first claim, you look like a veteran on your very first claim. Today's iPath featured firm is the best IRS. Whether looking for daily auto claims or catastrophic deployments for auto or property, you can contact the best IRS. All right, thank you for watching the Auto IA Show. If you're interested in becoming an auto damage appraiser or auto adjuster as a part of a diversified independent adjusting career, you can head over to iPath.com and claim your free copy of the Independent Adjuster's Playbook, which is a book I wrote to help you go step-by-step step from new IA to working independent auto adjuster or property adjuster using auto as part of your path to becoming successful. Thank you very much, and we'll see you guys next week.